Hi, I'm Rebecca Shaman and I'm here deep in the Amazon. I've been here for 12 days and during these days I've had really um, a lot of time to integrate and um, be in some stillness surrounded by Mother Earth and this amazing um, natural jungle. And in that stillness, it's very easy to start thinking more clearly uh, about what's happening on the planet and um, also what's happening um, to us as a species of humanity. And I'd like to share that with you in this video um, because uh, nature is um, a part of us. We, we are a part of it. Um, we have a symbiotic relationship with nature and um, we rely on it just as much as um, it relies on us. And we can always look to nature for the answers um, to any uh, problems that we have and right now on the planet we have uh, many problems and we need to look at to the humble caterpillar um, that holds the answers for us um, because a caterpillar starts um, going um, eating consuming uh, three times its body weight um, it consumes all the leaves um, in the Amazon um, it keeps consuming and while it consumes it starts going into crisis and in that crisis imaginal cells appear in the body of the caterpillar and these imaginal cells um, imagine a better and greater vision for the caterpillar um, which is the butterfly and um, the caterpillar from this sense of crisis goes into a cocoon um, where it can manifest itself as the butterfly and the last thing to go is the caterpillar's head and this is what's happening to humanity at the moment we're consuming three times the amount that um, mother earth can provide for us as a species and in so doing we are um, affecting and destroying many of the species that also rely on this ecosystem for their own survival including the plants and the trees um, as well as all the insects and the animals and so we're going into crisis at the moment and within this crisis imaginal cells are appearing on the body of mother earth we are the imaginal cells you and me we're the imaginal cells we're the ones that are realizing that the behavior that we're doing on the planet right now is not serving um, future generations it's not serving the other animals that and, and insects and plants and all living things that rely on this ecosystem um, to survive and so we are the survival mechanism that um, mother earth has in place for us to change and we change by changing our choices by changing our belief systems, by changing the way we, we live with uh, Mother Earth, by the way we live in this beautiful nature. And when we come to the jungle or when we're deep immersed into nature and we see the beauty and we see the love and we see the power of this amazing planet, we realize that we want to be part of the solution, not part of the dis-ease. And by doing that, it's by changing the way um, we relate to Mother Earth, but we relate to each other. The world needs much more love peace and harmony and we can do this by starting to change our habits changing our behaviors and understanding that only by us changing can things really change on this planet can we really leave a planet for future generations um, this is a really um, important crisis point um, for humanity a civilization is crumbling now the old way of war and debt and fear no longer serves us as a species and we are the ones that can change this into something much more empowering and much more powerful so on this Taurus full moon it's a super moon the planets are here to help us this is an uh, a, a chance to really release some of that fear and anxiety by going into nature, connecting with nature, making peace with those that you've been um, conflicted with. When we start with ourselves and make peace with ourselves, make peace with others in our lives, we are automatically making peace um, and creating ripples of peace out into the world. This is also an opportunity to get things done, to really um, start um, completing things that, needing, that are needing to be completed and to making changes as well, changes in your life, those commitments that we've been making over the years, this is an opportunity to really start putting them into action and realizing that the change is within each one of us. Each one of us is the caterpillar, each one of us is the imaginal cell and each one of us has the power to change what is happening on our planet right now. So over and out from the Amazon and wishing you all a beautiful Taurus full moon ride.